Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at making more interesting presentations with PowerPoint Plex and PowerPoint 2007 or 2010. PowerPoint Plex is an application that uses different technology for making your PowerPoint presentation and using PowerPoint Plex you can create PowerPoint presentations that operate in different ways to the traditional linear step-by-step -step presentation. I'm working here in PowerPoint 2007 and I already have this application configured and we're going to step through seeing exactly what PowerPoint Plex is going to give us and then we'll go to 2010 and do it in there. This is the PowerPoint Plex canvas here and we add it using the canvas background tool. There are lots of different canvases that you can use and you can see that I've used this wave one but I've recolored everything to suit my application. There are different elements appearing here on the canvas, chairs, tables, lounges, outdoor and bedding because this is a furniture catalogue. The word chairs is coming from this section divider that I've added to this presentation. In PowerPoint 2010 you can add sections natively, in PowerPoint 2007 you can't do that so PowerPoint Plex has an insert new section tool. Sections inside 2007 are a little bit different. They're added as slides and in PowerPoint 2010 they're just added as section markers. So this is a section slide that I've added inside my slide deck here. It's a special divider that PowerPoint Plex needs and it's going to ignore this text when we get to the presentation. I've added section slides throughout my presentation so in addition to chairs there's one here for tables and there are a couple others for bedding and lounges and outdoor furniture. So you'll add sections throughout your presentation breaking it up into smaller quantities of slides, five or six is a really good idea. So once you've got your canvas in place and your section slides that's pretty much all you need to do to configure PowerPoint Plex. There are however some advanced options here that you can use. I'm just using a spatial slide transition here and I have my slide arrangement as spiral because I find that a little less grating when I'm using it. And I also have a template chosen here that I'm using for my chairs and tables sections. You can choose different settings by section if you want to or give all sections the same settings. So this PowerPoint 2007 presentation is ready to go. But before we go and fire this off and have a look at it, let's see how we'd put it all together and let's do that in PowerPoint 2010. Here is the exact same presentation but this time I have it open in PowerPoint 2010 and we're going to set it up step by step. When you install PowerPoint Plex and installs as a tab on the ribbon and I'm going to start by going back into my normal view of my presentation and I'm going to add the sections. Now sections are native to PowerPoint 2010 so you'll do that from the home tab. I'll just select to add a section and here's my untitled section so I'm going to right click it and choose rename and because this section is chairs I'll type chairs. And I don't want Furniture Catalog to appear because I'm actually going to add that to the Canvas title. So I'm just going to hide this slide for now. I don't need to delete it, I just need to hide it. So having added our section for chairs, let's go and now and add a section for tables. Now in PowerPoint 2010 we'll click on the first table slide and then click Section, Add Section and it'll be added before then. I'll rename it and let's call it Tables and then we'll scroll down until the next change in our slides and that's going to be lounges here. I think we'll call that lounges. It's important when you're using PowerPoint Plex that you break your slideshow into smaller quantities. You don't want a lot of slides in each particular section so I'm going to call this one bedding and then we've got one final one which is outdoors. So 
So now we have all our sections in place. What we need to do now is to add our canvas. And for this, we'll use the PowerPoint Plex tab and we'll click Canvas Background and we can select a canvas background. I'm going to choose the same one as I used before just to show you how that's put together. So I'll just click on it to select it. You can see that it doesn't match the colors of my presentation. So all I did was select each element in turn, use the drawing tools, format tab, shape fill options to recolor it so it would look more like the colors that I was using for my presentation. Now I'm not going to do that right now for a lot of these because that's just wasted time. But you can see that you could work through this particular canvas slide and just adjust it to look exactly the way you want it to look. And it doesn't have to have wavy lines on it. You can make it look however you want it to because you can draw shapes on it and all sorts of things. I'm going to click in the presentation title here and I'm going to type my text. And then my subtitle text. Now PowerPoint has already given me my sections here. You can see here they are the chairs, the tables, lounges, bedding and the outdoors furniture. This one's an untitled section. In fact, what it's done is it's given me way more sections than I actually need to use. So I'm just going to remove them. You only want section markers, these boxes, for those sections that you actually plan to use. And now we can move these around. So we could, for example, take this outdoors one down here, make it quite considerably larger. There are no hard and fast rules about this at all. It's really whatever you want to do with it. Just going to position these in different areas on the screen so we can see this happening later on when we get into running our PowerPoint Plex presentation. So again, you've got lots of flexibility on how this is laid out and how it looks. Here too, we've got our advanced options, exactly the same options as we had in PowerPoint 2007. We can choose a color to use and we can choose more colors and go and grab a color from the color picker. Now I chose an orange simply because it was easier to try and pick an orange that I like to go with the blue rather than try to match the blue itself. So I'll just click OK and then I can choose a template and I was using this particular style so we'll choose that and click OK. Now that we've set everything up and that really is as simple as it is, I'm going to save the presentation and we'll come back next and look and see what our PowerPoint Plex presentation really looks like. Now I'm looking here at PowerPoint at full screen size and I'm ready to run my PowerPoint Plex presentation. So I'm going to select from overview and I'll wait as the PowerPoint presentation is published. The first time you run PowerPoint Plex, this will take a couple of minutes. And here's our PowerPoint Plex presentation. As you can see, it doesn't look really very much at all like a typical PowerPoint presentation. It's running full screen, so now I'm going to press the right arrow key. And when I do, I come to my first section. And this is why you need sections to be fairly small, because what you're going to see on the screen now is the entire section. If I press the right arrow key, I'm going to continue to move through this presentation from one slide to the next. And now because I have finished with the first section, when I press the right arrow key, I come back out to see the whole of the section. And when I press the right arrow key again, I can go into the second section. Now this is not all I can do. I can press the up arrow key or the left arrow key to move from one section to the next. I can also double click on a slide to go straight to that slide. And if I roll my mouse, I can go further into the slide. I can move it around on the screen. And if I had a touch screen, I could be doing this on the screen itself. I can zoom out, move the presentation around and go and have a look at outdoors furniture. So I'm not operating the slideshow anymore in a linear manner. I'm deciding where I want to go and exactly what I want to do with this slideshow. I can still move from slide to slide in any direction, but I also have the flexibility of being able to zoom out and do exactly what I want to do with this particular presentation. You'll find that the PowerPoint Plex tool is really interesting. It has all sorts of applications for large presentations and particularly when we're working with touch screens, it can be quite attractive. 
This PowerPoint Plex presentation is going to work exactly the same way in PowerPoint 2007 as it does in PowerPoint 2010. It's just that setup for the two applications is a little different because PowerPoint 2007 doesn't natively support sections.